Hello everyone, you're watching Physio Classroom channel and in today's video we are going to practically demonstrate the strain counter strain treatment technique for plantar fasciitis patients. Plantar fasciitis is a chronic degenerative condition that gives rise to heel pain which is most intense during the first few steps of the day and it often aggravates following prolonged standing. Plantar fascia comprises of three bands of dense connective tissues which originates from the medial tubercle of the calcaneum bone. It then fans distally and gets inserted into the base of the proximal phalanx of each toe. Now it is important to note that plantar fascia plays a very important role during the push-off phase of the gait cycle. Now actually what happens is that during the toe-off there is hyperextension at the metatarsophalangeal joint which results in the stretching and tensioning of the plantar fascia. As a result, this reinforces and elevates the medial arch of the foot which turns the foot into a rigid lever that helps in the forward propulsion of the body. There can be various reasons and mechanisms which can result in the repetitive strain and microtrauma to the plantar fascia which consequently becomes tight and becomes unable to get stretched and tensed during the push-off phase resulting in the heel pain at its insertion. Conditions like obesity, using of poor footwear, pest planus, pest cavus, calf tightness are some of the examples that can result in the repetitive strain injury to the plantar fascia. So now let's start with the practical demonstration of the strain counter strain technique that can be utilized by the physiotherapist to successfully relieve heel pain in plantar fasciitis patients. The patient is made to lie down prone and the therapist stands on the side of the limb that needs to be treated. The therapist next places one foot over the couch and then flexes the patient's knee and places the dorsal aspect of the foot over the thigh. The recommended tender point to be assessed in a plantar fasciitis patient lies just anterior to the calcaneum bone over the attachment of the quadratus plantae muscle. The therapist palpates the tenderness over the recommended tender point and the pain experienced is rated as 10 out of 10. Now using the other hand the therapist cups around the patient's heel or the calcaneum bone and then applies a forward and a upward motion so as to create forefoot flexion. While maintaining the heel closer to the forefoot in this manner and maintaining the pressure over the tender point, the therapist next adds further plantar flexion by using the thigh and a position of maximum comfort or ease is found in which the tenderness is completely elevated or is reduced by at least 70%. The position is next maintained for 90 seconds and the part is then again repositioned by the therapist in the neutral position. The tenderness is then reassessed after completing the treatment maneuver and a reduction of more than 70% indicates successful treatment. The whole procedure can be repeated up to three times and every time the therapist trying to go deeper and deeper during this maneuver so as to maximally relax the plantar fascia. Do try this technique in your patients and let us know your valuable feedback about the treatment outcome in the comment section below. So see you all in the next video till then keep learning keep sharing and stay connected.